Okay, Boss Dog here. Today I'm going to show you how to make pickled eggs and sausage. Pickled eggs and sausage, quick, easy, no nonsense way. Right here is a few, I'm going to show you the few of the ingredients that I'm going to be using. And right here we got, we've got some uh, pickling spices, uh, we got some sugar, canning salt, we got some Frank's Red Hot Original Sauce, some apple cider vinegar, some garlic cloves, some sausage, some eggs. So basically, we're gonna put all that together. We're gonna make some of the best pickled eggs you've ever had in your entire lifetime. So without further ado, let's get started. And the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce. So let's go. Okay, let's start putting in some ingredients in here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put in one cup, one cup of apple cider vinegar. Now I'm making something just for just for one quart or small jar. I'm making enough for this type jar right here. You can, uh, I, I usually do make enough for like three or four or five of these, but for just this video, I'm going to show you how to make this, and I'm only going to make one jar. So. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in one cup of apple cider vinegar. One cup of apple cider vinegar. You can use any kind of vinegar you like. I found that apple cider vinegar really tastes good with this recipe, so that's what we're using. I'm gonna use two cups of hot sauce. I like, I like Frank's Red Hot Sauce. We're gonna use two cups of that. Two cups of one. Two cups of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. We're gonna take uh, a tablespoon of sugar, boom. One tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna turn that heat up a little bit. We're gonna let this simmer. We're gonna let this simmer for a little while here. Melt, melt, uh, mar melt everything together, the hot sauce, the vinegar, the sugar, let that melt down a little bit. All, also, we're gonna put in one tablespoon of salt. I like, I like to use regular canning and pickling salt. Bang, that goes right in there. So now what we're gonna do is just let this sit here, simmer down. Let this simmer down a little bit. Not, don't bring it to a boil, just let it simmer down, get a little bit hot. Hot enough where you pour that into your jar and you put a lid on top of it, it'll seal it down. Okay, we're doing, that's all we're doing right now. Okay, we're gonna let this sit here. We're gonna let all this meld together and then I'll bring you right back in. Okay, let's put this jar together. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pickling spices, any kind of pickling spices. Mmm, such aroma. Just take the pickling spices. Tablespoon of pickling spices, right in the bottom of the jar. I've already sterilized the jar. I sterilized the jar, I sterilized the top, the seal, the top, everything's been sterilized, okay? Now, these eggs, what I do with these eggs here, I take the eggs, in order to get everything inside the eggs, I use a toothpick and I'm gonna run the toothpick through there, there, that side, and out the other side. Four holes, four holes in the eggs. So I've already, I've already done that to all the eggs in order to save some time here. So we're gonna put, we're gonna put like four eggs here in the bottom of the jar. Four eggs in the bottom of the jar, then we're gonna, Take some sausage. Now, you can use any kind of sausage you like. I, I, I like to use andouille sausage. I use andouille sausage because I like the taste of it. It's hot and spicy. Use any smoked sausage is good. But if you're gonna use, if you're gonna use any kind of sausage that has a casing on it, make sure you peel the casing off of it before you put it in here because it'll permeate the, the sausage better without the casing. So if you're using sausage with casing, take the casings off. So. We're gonna put a couple, put, a, put some garlic cloves in here. I like garlic in mine, so put some garlic cloves in there. And then I'm gonna put, it, put in a couple more eggs here. A couple more pieces of sausage. A couple more eggs. Like I said, I've already, I've already taken the toothpick, run the toothpick through the egg, just like that. Pull it out the other side. Add some more cloves of garlic to it. Add some sausage in there. 
And there you have it. There you have it. Look how nice that looks. It's got sausage and eggs, pickling spices. And we have our special seasoning over here, a brewing. I'm bringing that right over here. Now, we, I, I, I haven't boiled it. All I did was simmer it. All, everything's in there. Vinegar, hot, uh, Frank's hot sauce. Oh, the Frank's hot sauce. And go ahead and fill that right up with it. Pour it right in the jar. Look at that. Pour it right in there. Fill it right up to the top. Fill it right up to the very top. I'm going to use the leftover here that I have left over later on. I'm making some fish, so I'm going to put that on top of my fish. And take your sanitary lid. It's always good to wipe down the edge here. Wipe down the edge before you put your lid on so you get a nice seal on it. Drop our lid on top of that. Seal it down. Now, then you can shake it up. I like to shake it up, get all those pickly spices moving down through the jar. You can see it moving down right now. I'll turn it upside down, shake it up. Just like that. And move it right on down the jar. Move it right on down. Okay, good. Everything's good. There we go. Everybody's in the pool here. This is going to be some of the best pickled eggs and sausages you've ever had, you've ever eaten, ever. Uh, write the date on it, on the top here. I like to let them, these, these have to go in the refrigerator. Leave them in the refrigerator for approximately four weeks before you open them up. Make sure everything in there gets nice and pickled. I like to leave it upside down for a while, one way for a week and then I'll take it out and I'll turn it the other way and I'll turn it the other way and I'll do that like every other week I'll turn it upside down until I finally open it now I use this lid the ceiling lid for the first four weeks while they're pickling and as soon as I break it open take the top off to try them out I'll replace this lid with a plastic lid like this boom I'll put that on there these will probably keep refrigerated for anywhere between six months to a year sometimes. You'll probably eat the eggs a lot quicker than that. And something else, if you like, if you eat a lot of them, once you eat all the eggs out of here, you can take the eggs, or you can leave the sauce in here, boil, hard boil some more eggs and just drop the eggs right in the original sauce and probably use the same sauce for about at least six months. And so there you go, nice and easy, pickled eggs and sauces with Frank's hot sauce. Mm, mm, mm. That is going to be some of the best stuff you've ever eaten in your entire life. So I hope you like this video. I hope you like this video. Please like, please subscribe, hit the notification button for future videos. And this is Boss Dog, and I will see you soon.